What's up guys? I'm gonna show you my full dinner meal, healthy eating, liver detox after being on the carnivore diet for eight years. And this is really what I consider to be pretty much the healthiest diet in general. The only difference is like a growing person, teenage kid, whatever, would probably want more animal protein and, and the ratios would be a little different. Uh, I am completely exhausted. I probably look like the crypt keeper because I'm working like a dog and haven't been getting enough sleep. But um, that's why we're just doing like dinner. So I can show you guys the meal and it's not gonna take me all day filming to, to do a day of eating video. You guys probably hear that gas whistling in the background. I, I should turn the vent on, but it's pretty loud. So we have the udon noodles. We're gonna do roast beef and broth on it. This is the grass-fed roast beef from Frankie's Free Range Meat. The udon noodles, guys, we have these available on frankiesforrangefoods.com. I'd like to think I've made Haku Baku a decent amount of money, but uh, hey, I'm selling them, so at least I'm not going completely broke. Uh, we just put a little bit of Frankie's Free Range Meat Pure Ocean Salt in some glass bottle of mineral water. We're getting the water ready to cook the the noodles in, I like doing it in the pan. You use less water, very efficient. Uh, sometimes I put a little oil in the pan, but we're gonna put oil in the uh, the bowl anyway, just for our fat source. So that's that. Over here on the table, uh, we gotta peel an organic honey crisp apple, and we gotta get some water kefir out of the fridge. We already have our water kefir grains sitting on the table. I don't take supplements with dinner besides uh, besides masticum, because you know your liver has to process those and that can kind of disrupt your sleep. So we're gonna take our apple over here to peel. In the fridge. Running low on water keeper because I messed up a batch. So hopefully it's ready tomorrow. All right, I think it's, I think it's okay. Carbonation isn't too crazy high, and I don't think it's that alcoholic, so it should be fine. Cause uh, this batch right here is still on the heating pad. I added too much sugar for the second ferment, so I might be screwed. I might be screwed. <laughs> I might have to bring some home from the the warehouse. So what's also going on in the noodles is we have our white bean puree, which is basically just white cannellini beans pureed with the organic artichokes and then we're gonna have some beef stock concentrate in there on the noodles to add more flavor and more vitamins i'm gonna turn this on now a little hard to do this one-handed but i like usually doing a few tablespoons of that in there and then about that much white bean puree. So that's kind of ready. Uh, this stuff goes back in the fridge. Usually I make enough bean puree to last a week. Kind of goes bad pretty fast. So, uh, and this one jar of this will last me a few days. We have this and the collagen broth on the meat website. So I gotta empty the dishwasher and clean the sink out so I can make this. Uh, I'm gonna do that while the noodles are in the water. Uh, three minutes and 30 seconds on the noodles. Uh, so I'm gonna do all that, and then after we'll peel the apple. So I try to be efficient with everything just because like I've been working all day and it's already like 11.45 at night, so I don't wanna get to bed too late. And tomorrow morning, it's like an unusual morning where I actually have to be there early at like seven or eight for delivery, so I don't wanna be completely shot. Uh, so I'm trying to be a little efficient. Uh, just one quick note, I haven't been doing the whole package of udon noodles and I can't eat it all. So I just take two out. There's three like wrappings of noodles in there. So two packages will be like three servings for me. Is that right? Two packages? Yeah, two packages will be three servings of noodles for me. All right, so we got our noodles, about three minutes, 30 seconds. Now we're gonna pour most of them into the strainer and save a little bit of water for the starch to get everything together. Okay, so we'll put this in here. Shake the water off, reuse it tomorrow. Get our fork. So now I stir everything together. So we basically have noodles with 
fiber from white beans and some B vitamins and protein and amino acids from that broth. So this is a little bit under salted, so I'm just putting a little bit more salt on it. And then I'm gonna put maybe a teaspoon of oil just for flavor and a little bit of fat. I'm very careful with the amount of salt I add uh, to the, the water and to the noodles because uh, we put a lot of that water back in like you just saw. So I've oversalted these probably three or four times where I had to just throw the whole meal out and remake dinner, which I wasn't too happy about. So finally learned like, my lesson and I'm a little careful. The roast beef, uh, we're going to trim the edges off, cut it up, and put it on top. Uh, usually I let this rest for five or ten minutes while I'll do other stuff. Whether it's like, like I got some bread we actually already made here. Maybe I have to refresh my sourdough starter. Uh, what I actually normally do is uh, this is our container for our breakfast pancakes. Uh, so we got a little left over in there. Uh, we're going to fill it up with... Uh, oats, uh, the birch, oh wait, I forgot to bring home pancake mix. No. All right, well, since we're going down early tomorrow, that works out because I can just bring home some pancake mix tomorrow. That'll be fine. So we'll do that tomorrow morning. Prep the roast beef, uh, slice up the apple, and then I'll show you guys what we have. I'll just like trim the edge pieces off, uh, slice it a few times, and then I'll put the the strips in here. Uh, just broken up because if you just throw them in all chunks then they kind of stick together and you don't have you know meat distributed evenly throughout the noodles and then i want to stir it because you know the roast beef is kind of cold so it's going to warm them up and it's also going to kind of coat the the roast beef in like the broth and the oil and the salt and season it more but i try not to do more than like six or seven ounces of meat with dinner just for you know, digestion before bed. But uh, the roast beef is very lean and I usually don't have too many issues with it, which is why I have it so much. So this is pretty much ready. We'll peel our apple and then we'll sit down to eat. You guys wanna watch me peel an apple? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever peeled an apple in front of you guys. But I just go over the top and the bottom and then I go down the sides with a this is not a Y peeler, this is a, I think it's called a swivel peeler, which I like for the apples. And then I'll just go over this top and bottom again, like that, and then knife, and then. Okay, and that's it. How's that? Oh. A little tilted. All right guys, so we have our udon noodles. You guys saw how we made everything. It's a nice balance of protein, carbs, starch, and fiber, basically perfect for liver detox. You're getting the B vitamins and the protein, all the nutrients your body needs to maintain those detox pathways, some minerals, and then you're getting, more importantly, a large amount of fiber and starch that the bile from your liver is gonna soak into where it can then exit the body. And that's really how you detox your liver. With that, to help, we have some masticum, which is probably, I'm guessing it's a type of fiber, but it also keeps things moving. It's like a light antimicrobial that doesn't get digested. And then we have our honey crisp apple, which is just a little bit of extra sugar, high volume water, kind of dessert and enjoyment. I'm debating on having kefir grains and kefir with dinner. Sometimes I don't, it depends on how I feel. I took a lot with lunch. So sometimes when you take too much probiotics, like the bacteria eat all the food pretty much in the stomach and then it's kind of like, you know, it wants to eat more. So if you have like a ton of probiotics for lunch, you might not need them for dinner. In the case of today, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna have them. Uh, so for breakfast and lunch, I usually do half water kefir and half water. For dinner, I do like one third water kefir and water just a little less and to start the meal I'm going to do just one like big tablespoon of water kefir greens yeah that water kefir I think that batch has been sitting in my fridge for two weeks so 
Hopefully the fresh batch is ready tomorrow. Because uh, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Uh, so yeah, now we have the water kefir and the water kefir grains in my stomach freshly for this meal. So when the food goes in, I'm going to have you know the bacteria to digest it. Now this meal is kind of tricky uh, to make it taste good. You know, I've experimented a lot and used like a lot of technique and making the simple ingredients balance together, but if you cook the noodles for the right amount of time and add enough salt and fat, it should be very tasty. And the roast beef in here with the noodles is so good. It's so tasty. And I've seen people follow like variations of this diet where they're just eating like beans and rice. And to me, like, I don't see how that's sustainable. Uh, one for me, it's not calorically dense enough. I'm very active. So, and the lack of variety makes the diet very difficult to adhere to. So, you know, through all my years of research and experimenting, I've been able to find and offer you guys food sources that add variety to this diet. Usually I'm so hungry for uh, dinner that I'll like wolf everything down without drinking enough water kefir, but that's just been this week because like, I've been having a hard time with the temperature now that it's getting colder making bread. So I've been having like rice and beans and some meat for lunch and like, I don't eat nearly as much of that as I do when I do bread, so it's been digesting quicker, so I'll be hungry for dinner. Guys, I've gotten this far, so I guess I could say the worst part of the detox has been over, but it's still bad. Like, I could tell, like, the amount of bile coming out and my bowel movements, like, the amount of toxins that the liver can store is nothing short of amazing. You know, you eat three meals a day full of toxins for 10 years. How many days worth of toxins do you think your liver can remove in one day? You know, it might be it might be equal. It might take you just as long to fix your liver as it did to mess it up. And the reason I keep pushing this diet on you guys is because, you know, you don't want to get to the point where you're, you're you know, you're not able to physically function and you're not sleeping. I noticed that when I have the, the kefir grains and the water kefir like at the start of the meal like that, it helps regulate my appetite a lot more so I don't overeat. The reason overeating is so bad isn't because of like weight gain or getting fat, which is what most people are worried about. It's that undigested food in your stomach, you know, causes a lot of inflammation. It releases a lot of histamine. It can cause yeast candida overgrowth. It's, it's very, very bad. It's probably and possibly the number one reason why, you know, you might not be sleeping or you might not be feeling good is if you're eating too much food. But you know, it, it can be hard to, you know, sit down and take your time eating when you're, you're, you're hungry. You're... When I do a good job, like today, I did a pretty good job at this. It's very palatable. Very tasty, so I might overeat a little. So that's that. Delicious. I didn't eat all the roast beef. Now, in regards to masticum, I've said this before, but there's a fine line between giving yourself diarrhea and improving gut motility. So that being said, when I take more, even though my stomach can kind of get messed up, I do feel better because it moves the food through my stomach faster. So sometimes I will take more. So I sleep better knowing that, you know, I might be on the toilet the next day, but I'll give you guys a bit. So this is how much that might cause issues. So I would say it's about a level teaspoon, usually too much for me, usually too much. So I'll go about half of that. And for me, that's usually a safe enough amount where I'll sleep okay, but it also just, my bowel movements are still regular. Um, and sometimes what I'll even do is I'll skip the water key for, for dinner 
and I'll have mastic at the beginning and the end, but usually I feel better with having the water kefir in the meal combined with the mastic. It's not, I'm, not, I'm just not trying to like completely mix it all together. Like I'll have the water kefir and the kefir grains first in the meal. And then like when I put this mastic in my stomach, it's like on top of the food. So it's kind of pushing it through and not interfering with the, the probiotics too much. Uh, I think that's it. Hey, yeah, these apples are really good. I had like a bad batch. Like these big ones, Honeycrisp Organic, that you might see in your supermarket. These are delicious. You want the yellow or the red ones? Not too much green on them. There are these smaller ones. I bought like three bags of them. I didn't even want to eat them. They're just like sour and not good. Yeah, so I didn't eat apples for like two weeks, but I think including them in the meal is more beneficial to detox than not. When they're high volume, they're, they, you know, they have a lot of water, they have fiber, so that's great for the liver. But when you give your body glucose and fructose in the context of a starch meal, you know, you're utilizing all of your liver's digestive abilities. So it's better to give your body a balance of almost everything than to do more of another thing you know and then there's a set amount of each of those nutrients that your body can absorb but my point is it's beneficial to have the apple at every meal most of the time i've been eating like half an apple but like sometimes i don't like saving it because like tomorrow morning this isn't going to be nearly as tasty I'll probably save one piece for breakfast though when you guys were saying in my comments that you didn't drink water kefir because it's high in histamine but the histamine load from dysbiosis is going to be higher than any histamine you would ever get from a probiotic so even if this was high in histamine which it's really not compared to even protein if you drank this it would reduce the amount of candida and yeast in your stomach and that candida and yeast is producing far more histamine than any probiotic ever will you know, it reminds me of that girl that emailed me uh, saying how, like, she couldn't sleep for years. And when she drank the water kefir, it was like the first night she ever slept a few hours straight. So it's very significant. We have the water kefir on frankiestrangefoods.com. But what's also very effective, uh, more effective, if anything, is the water kefir grains. I like using both with every meal. Each of them have their benefits. And I think you need both. These are on sale, amazing price, guys. This jar, this huge jar of water kefir grains that lasts me a few days is only like $12. I guarantee you that's probably one quarter of the price of any other source online. You know, we just have a lot extra and you guys haven't been buying it. And uh, the water kefir is a little more expensive now. Uh, this is $11. So, you know, I mean, I'll use one or two bottles a day of this. And then, you know, this jar lasts me a long time. So if you could just stock up on these kefir grains make your own water kefir and eat the grains. And eventually, if you do it right, you shouldn't have to buy more. I mean, we sell sugar and molasses too, um, organic sugar and organic molasses to make it. So ideally you have you know, your own water kefir, your own water kefir grains. And then if you just buy the sugar and the molasses from us, it should be a lot cheaper in general, but uh, that's enough of the sales pitch for today. But that's the full dinner guys. Roast beef is on the meat website. Everything else is on the foods website. Tons of new products available on both guys. So be sure to, you know, go to frank com, look around, check some stuff. You know, we got a lot of new stuff and uh, we, we're getting new stuff in every week too. But that's going to be it, guys. It's getting late and I got to edit this video for tomorrow. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the full day of eating and my rambling. I think we'll do... Uh, breakfast and lunch next week, probably. I don't think I'm going to do it this week. Maybe we'll just do some more shorts tomorrow. But I'll show you guys the full breakfast. And then I'll, maybe I'll show you guys two lunches or just one lunch uh, in the video. But I will see you guys soon. Oh, also, last chance to buy Thanksgiving turkeys. And you guys better buy them. Or we're going to show up to your house with 10 Amish guys and beat you up.